Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about how to assemble, install, and my general review of the Kamina uh, toilet seat safety frame. This is a great product, a real upgrade from the traditional safety frames. I'll talk a little bit about how to put it together, how to mount it to your toilet safely, and some of the features I really like about it in comparison to some of the other models on the market. So we'll get started here with assembly. I'll introduce my partner. This is Lottie. She's going to be here for moral support. So let's go ahead and start by making sure we have all of the right pieces. When it comes new in the box from the factory, this is what you'll see. Um, it actually is great because none of the pieces require any tools for assembly, and it can be actually disassembled quite easily, which is great. So if you need to place it in storage when you don't need it, or you're going to transfer, transport it between locations, it's relatively easy to do. So first things first, we're gonna locate the legs. So these legs are going to um, look like this. You wanna make sure that they have these rubber feet in place. These are really important to make sure that it slides into position and holds very securely. So if you get it used, make sure you double check that these are in place. The next thing you're gonna identify is this cross member piece. And this curved part so that you can identify it is gonna go out because this is actually what's going to go up against the base of your toilet. It has two hole sets on each side, which is for varying widths. So this particular safety frame is going to sit somewhere between 27 inches, which is the narrower position, or 30 inches um, from the toilet. So that's the width, that's how much space you need to accommodate. I would measure beforehand, before even purchasing, to make sure that your bathroom can accommodate the 27 inches at max. Um, you can also adjust that based on the width of the person who's going to be using the frame. The frame's weight capacity before you even make the purchase is 320 pounds. So make sure that that all works for you. So we're going to find this and we're going to start by kind of separating these out. I like to kind of tilt it up because you're going to have to line up the holes. So we're going to start on this one. I'm going for the 27 inch because I have a fairly narrow bathroom. So when we go to install it, we want to make sure there we go. And then you're gonna find the smaller set bolt. And they again have these nice hand tightening. And you're gonna slide that through. And when you start tightening it, you wanna make sure it goes on relatively easy because you don't wanna be cross threading. Um, and it should go in nice and hand tight snug. So there's that one. Kind of twist, make sure it's tight. There we go. And then we're gonna do the next side. And again, I find it easier if it's kind of tilted up. I'm going to use the couch. Oop. And again, I tilt it so that I can see the holes. And there's that one. And you're going to use the same bolt. Very, very easy. You want to go hand tight. Okay, so now that that's all assembled, whoops. Ah, so this is something that's important to note. I don't know if you noticed that when I did this, there's two sets of holes. If you put it in the wrong set, it won't lay flat. So I actually put this one in the wrong hole. So I'm going to unscrew it. I'm going to lay it flat. And now, maybe this is a good reason to have it like this. Now I can see the hole. Now it's flat there's an angle that you can put this at. So you can put it in either hole, depending on the type of toilet base you have. I have a straight toilet base, so I don't need it to be on an angle. But if certain toilets have kind of an angled base, this can be angled as well. Okay, so now that we're tightened in, the base is set. So at this point, you're gonna locate the armrests, which look like this. They come assembled like this. The rounded portion is going to be the front, and then it'll have like this little yellow piece underneath. I'll show you what that does in a second, but you're going to put these into these. Now, I don't think it's super important you know the height of the handles right away. You can kind of guesstimate, but it's fairly easy to adjust. So I'm just going to drop it in, and then we can adjust it a little bit once we get to the toilet. But this goes in the same way. Make sure that once it's installed, it helps if you lift up on it just a little bit to make sure it's straight. Give it the jiggle test. It should not wiggle. If it does wiggle, then the bolt, this bigger one, did not go in all the way. I had that happen the first time I assembled it. And again, this adjusts pretty easily, so I'm kind of eyeballing it. So once it goes into the hole, 
lift up just a little bit. That'll make sure it's straight. And then it goes in pretty easy. Hand tighten, just like that. So the last part you're gonna assemble is this piece. This is what actually goes around and tightens around your toilet to hold it in place. But first things first, you need to make sure that these are in. There's a little groove that you have to line up on the top of this black piece and at the top of the metal. So the groove is at the top. If it doesn't, you wanna make sure it's in because it can't. you don't want it turning. So find the groove and then match it up. It goes in really easily. Now, it's important to note um, that you want the bolts, so there's a bolt on these that's going to kind of extend it out so it tightens against the toilet. When you're installing it, you want that bolt all the way up against this black piece here. You don't want it down here because it might get, it will get stuck trying to go in. Then you're gonna place it so that these flat sides are facing out and back. That's the only way it'll go in. So you'll know if you did it right because it'll go in straight. You just slide it in like that. And now you're assembled and ready to take it into the bathroom to put it all together. All right, so now we have it set up near the toilet in the bathroom. This toilet is already uh, set up with this Kohler Heighten toilet seat riser, which I just did a video on installing that, link here. I really like this setup in conjunction with this type of riser because this type of riser is awesome, but it doesn't work great with the traditional types of safety frames. So this combo is really nice and both are really well engineered products. So let's show you how you would assemble this onto the toilet. So I'm gonna set it up with this curved part of the um, cross member here, lined up with the base of the toilet, and then these two black stoppers, these two black feet on either side, try to kind of center it so that all you have to do then is slide it back and keep going until this is centered on the toilet. That's, um, that's where the tilting component will come in. Some toilets have a more significant angle on them and you may have to adjust at this point here to make sure that it centers very straight and comfortably, which it does just like that for mine. Now you're gonna identify the nut on the actual black stoppers on both sides. And I recommend grabbing both at the same time so that you can kind of adjust equal pressure on both sides so that it's really, really secure. And you're going to turn until they tighten, which basically what you should see while you're doing this is that the stoppers are kind of like going around the base here. So they're kind of hugging, that was the word I was looking for, hugging the base, and they're gonna apply a gentle pressure. It doesn't have to be a ton of pressure. You just want it to be tight enough that that rubber is going to hold this in place, which is exactly what it's doing. So now we can test it. And by testing it, we're just gonna do the jiggle test. That's not going anywhere. This is a very secure setup. I do wanna point out one downside to this particular type of riser, and it's something that's unavoidable because the feet are an important component to its stability, but these feet do stick out a bit beyond the base of the toilet and kind of could become a trip hazard for some individuals as they approach the toilet. So if you're working with somebody perhaps who has low vision, perhaps some cognitive deficits or something that might impair their ability to adjust to having these feet present, I would suggest considering different options. But for those who can adjust to having these feet, this is still a fantastic solution for a supportive toilet safety frame. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and show you one last thing I really like about this model, and that is the armrests. This is a really unique feature. It's the only one I know of on the market that does this but it has two positions on the armrest. So depending on how you need to be supported, the armrests can adjust. So underneath, you're gonna have this little yellow button. You're gonna pull it towards the front. It's really easy. And the whole system shifts forward, allowing you more um, positioning up front. So if you need that positioning to get to a stand, it's there for you. And then it can be shifted back and out of the way depending on your transfer technique. So this is a really great flexible option. You can also adjust the height of these armrests using these simple pegs here, adjust with the hole, very easy to do. Overall, I absolutely love this frame. It's extremely sturdy, significantly less jiggle than some of the other designs have that can make people feel really insecure. 
So overall, it's a great design. I love it a lot. Links in the description if there's something you would like to purchase for yourself or for somebody else. As always, if you have questions or comments, I would love to hear them down below. And if you need more information like this on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.